sequence defined by un equals 25 times 0 0.6 to the n. Now, when I did this, I immediately recognized it was a geometric sequence, and the general form is a r to the n minus 1, which we don't quite have here. So if we just sort of make it un equals 25 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.6 to the n minus 1, it's going to then be in the right form. And 25 times 0 0.6 is actually 15. So it's 15 times 0 0.6 to the n minus 1. And that merely gives me a equals 15 as my first term and r equals 0 0.6. If you're not happy with that, then you can just write out the first few terms. 25 times 0 0.6 for when n is 1 gives 15 times by 0 0.6 again to give 9. You know, you could write 15, 9 and 5.4. The main point is that you still get a and you still get your r which is 9 over 15 or 0 0.6 from earlier on so we're set up now with this anyway All right we're then asked to use an algebraic method to find the smallest value of n such that this is true now this is actually the sum to infinity of of all the the terms of u n whereas this one is s capital n okay i'm just going to sum it up to um yeah, some some value and I want it to be such that the difference is less than 10 to the minus 4. So I need enough terms to get there basically. All right, well we're given a couple of formulae in the formula book that will help us with that. I'm not going to prove them here, but here they are. Um, so S capital N to start with is going to be my A 15 times by 1 minus R, which is 0 0.6 to the capital N all over 1 minus 0 0.6. And then s infinity, this is valid because the modulus is less than 1, is then going to equal just 15 over 1 minus 0.6. Again, so what is 15 divided by, divided by that? It's going to be 15 divided by 0 0.4. And we get 37.5. So 30, I don't know whether I should sort of link it in. Um, so okay, maybe I'll write it out. So this implies that 37.5 minus, now fifth, I can still do 15 over 1 minus 0 0.6 here to get 37.5. So I can bring that out of the bracket. 37.5 times 1 minus 0 0.6 to the n is less than 10 to the minus 4. Okay, we've got ourselves our inequality in terms of capital N. Remember, we're asked for the smallest value of n. Okay, so there's going to be lots of values of n that exist, but we're looking for the smallest. So expand this bracket. Okay, so these cancel out. And I've got myself an exponential equation to solve. So 0 0.6 to the n is going to be less than, so let's take the 10 to the minus 4 and divide by 37.5, which gives 1 over 375,000. We can now take logs of both sides. So I'm going to do log to base 0.6 of 0.6 to the n. However, there's something you need to be aware of if you've never taken log to base below 1, and that is when you take this base, you actually have to flip the sign around. It becomes a greater than. If you take log to base of something like 10, then you don't need to, but if you do 0.6, you do. More on that in a minute. So we're going to get this. Now you can bring bring the n down and then log to base 0 0.6 of 0 0.6 is just 1. So we get n is greater than log to base 0 0.6 of this. So 
Let's work out what that is. Twenty five point one two five. So the smallest n is going to be twenty six. And we're sorted. Kind of makes sense that it's greater than because yeah, it's going to be true for large values. Now let me just say very quickly, like let's let's solve it a different way. Instead of doing log to base zero point six, let's do log to base ten. And you could always, you know, it's worth practicing actually taking log to other bases. So in this case, it's going to be log, and that means base ten log to zero point six to the n. Okay, this is like alternative log to base 10 of 1 over. So this time I'm not actually changing the sign, but I'm going to get n times log of 0 0.6 is greater. Wait, sorry, less than. Oh, I've mixed up. I should be up here. So this should have been a less than. Apologies. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm starting from here and then I'm taking log both sides. So that is a less than as well. And then we're going to divide them. But just be careful because when you do log to base 10 of 0 0.6, keep it the negative. Okay, and that's why you have to flip the sign. And it's just a result, basically. You know, you can sort of see because we're doing it here. You know, it must be that if we take log of 0 0.6, when you, you know, a process, it involves having to switch the sign. So then we're going to do log to base 10 of 1 over 375,000. Divide that by our answer from previous. And we're going to get this 25.12 again. Remember, we've switched the sign, so we get that same thing. So this is just an alternative if you like to take log to other bases, also to demonstrate where the switching kind of comes from when you do a base that is less than one. It's always when it's less than one. Um, but yeah, that is our question. Well done.